Well, yeah, I thought we uh, out outworked, outshot. We, I, my guys told me we had over 90 shot attempts, uh, three breakaways, few posts. I mean, if we play that way, we're going to win some games. I thought the effort was uh, was really good. Uh, second period, maybe the six, five, six minutes in the second period. At the end of that period, we were all offense. There's a way to come back in those games, um, but they they worked hard. I mean, they uh, they pushed hard. We lost Chinikov in the first period. We didn't have Marchenko and all the other guys that we don't have. But that's uh, it's part of a game. And then Corrali in the third, I couldn't play him no more. So it's uh, it was a solid effort. How tough was it to try to stop the bleeding there in the first when things started to unravel early? Well, that's why I pulled a goalie. You want to change the uh, momentum there. I didn't. I mean, I don't think it's on Elvis, uh, but you want to do something right away. Um, first one is a turnover. Second one is a PK, and the third one it's all on us, um, system-wise. But we had our chances to come back in this game. Like we, five minutes into the game, you're down by three. We still have lots of time, and we created enough to come back. You say you don't want to use excuses, but the guys you've lost over the last couple of days between trades and illnesses and then during this game, how did that just make to make it to run a bench as that game went going on? Well, we, <laughs> the guys had to be on their toes, that's for sure, because there was a lot of changes, but it's uh, it's what we do. I mean, it's there's nothing we can control, only what we can control. Injuries, guys being traded. Uh, we had enough players to play that game, and they worked hard. Did, did it look like Elvis had any rest at all, though, after being off? No, I, I, don't, I don't blame Elvis whatsoever. I don't think it's on him. Um, I just wanted to change the momentum. Tarasov seems to be able to handle every situation. That's tough to do, coming in cold like well, that. Well, yeah, early in the game like this. Um, yeah, he's uh, he's played well. How did you feel? I mean, you had a ton of shots in the first period, obviously, 22. Um, were you guys satisfied with, with where the chances were coming from and where the shots were coming from? Well, you're down by three. You're shooting all pucks, right? You're uh, you don't want to waste any uh, opportunity to shoot the puck. So it's uh, that's what we did. You have uh, been really sharp recently uh, in starts, uh, coming in a relief appearance here. How good did you feel tonight? Um, I was not that cold, so it was kind of like the normal. I mean, you should be ready anytime. It's, anything can happen in the game, so just it was like. Really focus, like, trying to be like confident, especially in the first like couple minutes. Yeah, so with it happening that quickly into the game, you, you had you, you felt kind of warm still. Or? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, the guys like was pretty slow start from from us. Obviously, it's uh, like it was like key moment. They scored really yeah. fast three goals, uh, and then like it was kind of like the like, slap. On our like face, you know, and then we started like move our legs and like created some chances in a offensive zone. But the goalie was really good yeah. there. Yeah. Just, just how, how good are you feeling in general? Just in general, uh, overall. That general feeling really good. Yeah, like, I mean, like healthy is good. Like now we're just getting better in some like technique stuff and like some some plays in the game. You talked about being focused when you come in there. At what point, is it after the second goal where you start to think to yourself, uh oh, this is getting away early, and maybe you start to get even more locked in on the game, knowing you might be in there if one more goes in? Yeah, absolutely. Like, especially, like, like you said, like after the second goal, I, I felt like kind of uh, the game run it not the, our way. And like we was, like I said, like pretty slow, and like we can start the game like that and yeah just trying to fox it especially after second goal yeah and if, if there is something happen like just going in. Daniel what, what's the process you go through when you go in you don't really have a chance to warm up how do you how do you get yourself to the point where you feel like you're game ready at that um, point? It happens pretty quickly so I was kind of like hit and just did some stretching you know a couple of movements and it was kind of tough I mean went to the game because it was didn't a lot of shots. I mean, because we started play really good. We're really 
pressure those guys like created a lot of really great chances I mean but it was not on the other side tonight. You seem to be able to handle every situation do you feel pretty good about where your game is right now? Yeah it was really confident I and mean, just trying to to do, to do the right right movements you know right decisions and I think it was really good. You've been in a similar position as Elvis before where you've sat out for a while and had to come back and that's not easy to do. Is is it hard to you know watch a, a fellow goalie have to kind of oh, go, yeah. go through Abs- those? Absolutely. Like, any, any goalie can can be in the same like, situation. I mean, it's not really really easy, but you should like take away from your head, you know, especially in the next next day and just keep keep working. I mean. The obvious question on tonight, like the, the, tonight, was: Were you ready to play? Do you guys feel like you were ready to play, or was it just kind of catch you by surprise? I guess. Um, I mean, I thought we were ready. It's not the start we want by any means. It's three quick goals, um, kind of a miscommunication on the first one, a power play goal for them, and then a tip net front. So, I mean, it wasn't like two on ones and breakaways and stuff like that. I just um, obviously can't really spot a team three goals in the NHL that quickly and, and expect to win. I thought we re- we rebounded really well and played hard for the next 55 minutes of the game. Um, their goalie played well, but I think when you spot a team three goals, it's definitely a hard night to win. You guys put 97, 98 shot attempts on the board today, but just couldn't get them through. Was it just tough to get them through those layers of, of defensemen today? Yeah, I mean, I think they did, you know they did a a good job of letting their goalie see the puck. Um, it's hard to beat goalies when they can see it. And I thought their D played well for the most part. I thought we were in their zone for a lot of the game, creating stuff. But um, just one of those nights where the puck wasn't going in. So it's uh, it's definitely tough with, with how hard we worked the last 55 minutes there to not even get one. But it is what it is. Uh, you guys are kind of back into a, a little bit of a lull again on the on the power play um, for for four tonight. Yeah, I think it's like six games in a row without one. Not a lot of opportunities in those six games before tonight. Um, just, uh, I guess, how frustrating is it to, to not just get that thing clicking, you know, and, and continually kind of being asked about that stuff? Yeah, it sucks. I mean, I think power plays and special teams can help you win games, can also help you lose games. And I think tonight, um, if we get a power play goal early in the game, you know, end of the first, start of the second, whatever it is, it's probably a different outcome, to be honest. So, um, you know, our power play hasn't done the job well enough this year. I think the players have to take ownership in that and find a way to score some goals on it. Um, it just helps your team win. It helps you know everyone else you know start to feel it a little bit more, take the pressure off guys five on five. So um, our power play has to be better. Hey, this morning, uh, um, Pascal said that uh, this summer um, they want to make a, like a renewed emphasis on, on fixing the power play for next year. Just how important is that? I mean, you just kind of mentioned it, but just for what you guys want to do here, the re, you know, rebuilding up to the playoffs and stuff, how big is that part of the game to be able to, to get your power play fixed? Yeah, it's huge. Like I said, it can help you win games and help you lose games, and tonight it helped us lose one. You know, if we can get one, it changes it, but um, I don't know what they have planned for the summer. I haven't talked to them about that, but um, I think for sure we got to find a way to try and get our power play going the rest of the season and definitely at the start of next year. Zach, you guys are rolling along here for the last week or so where all the work you're putting in, you were seeing real tangible progress. These last two games, it's pretty much been a hot goaltender in each one that has taken that away. How tough is it to stay positive, knowing you're still doing the right things, but it just hasn't worked? Yeah, I mean, it's the only thing we can do is stay positive. We worked hard tonight. Um, outside those first five minutes, I thought everyone, you know, everyone worked. and. If we play like that most nights, we're probably going to get good results. Um, so there's no point on being down about it. You know, obviously it sucks right now. Um, have a late night of travel, practice tomorrow, and then just forget about it and move on. So uh, we have the next three at home before a long road trip. So hopefully we can get back in the win column this weekend. Well, and the positive there is you're playing without players either for injury or trade, and you're still able to again throw a bunch of shot attempts on net and, and stay as competitive as you were. Yeah, I mean there's a lot, there's a lot of good players in this organization. I think we're seeing that. Um, you know, you have, you have Mizey coming up, Fixie, Gonser, guys going down with injuries, guys stepping up in different roles, and everyone's doing a good job of it. Um, you know, tonight's a frustrating one because I feel like for 55 minutes, like I keep saying, we probably deserve better, but um, that's why it's a 60 minute game. But I think, you know, we have a lot of good players in this organization on this team. Obviously, guys moved out, guys are hurt, guys are sick, whatever it is, but guys continue to step up and 
we're in every game, so it's uh, it's good to see. In that first uh, period, you had 22 shots. Were, were you guys happy with shot location, or was it one of those deals where you're down three, you just want to get pucks on that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I'd have to rewatch it or something. I mean, just playing the game, not really thinking of where I'm shooting from or where the guys are shooting from. Like, whenever you can get pucks, then that is a good play. So, um, obviously, when you're down three, you probably have more of an emphasis on it, but um, I haven't really thought about that too much.